Um, back in uh, February of 2022, um, we had a press conference announcing that we had filed charges against me and Bradley um, and Foy and the Pritchard Water Board for the charges of theft of first degree and aggravated theft by deception being a class A felony and a class B felony. Um, at that time, you had asked multiple times whether or not there would be additional charges that would be filed. We filed charges also at that time against her husband, uh, Anthony Bradley, um, for um, receiving stolen property in the first degree. Um, and that was all the charges that we filed back in February. We told you that this was an ongoing uh, operation. We had tens of thousands of pages of financial documents that we have been coming through diligently over the past months. And um, those charges that were bound over against Nia Bradley and her husband, Anthony Bradley, um, were considered by a Mobile County Grand Jury this week, and they did return indictments against them for the original charges. They also added charges against uh, the husband, Anthony Bradley, of two counts of fraudulent use of a credit card. Um, and so he will face additional charges as well. In addition to that, um, we in arrested uh, as a result of a secret indictment yesterday that was returned by the Mobile County Grand Jury, Randy Burden, the former public service supervisor with the Pritchard Water Board uh, and known associate of Nia Bradley, as well as um, <clears throat> Teresa Lewis, who is the physical services manager employed with the Pritchard Water Board. And um, Randy Burden was arrested on uh, charges of uh, theft of property first degree, which is a class B felony and aggravated theft by deception for, uh, which is a class A felony, as well as Teresa Lewis, the public services manager, um, was charged and indicted for theft of property first degree, which is a class B felony and aggravated theft of property by deception as a class A felony. Um, Teresa uh, uh, Lewis was actively employed with the Pritchard Water Board. She was the only person of these four individuals that was still working at the Pritchard Water Board uh, at the time that she was arrested, which was yesterday, late yesterday afternoon. And so, as we told you, uh, this is still very much an ongoing investigation. And I think it's important that the public understands that these types of cases unfold as we go through and sift and comb through you know, tens of thousands of pages of documents. Um, financial crimes cases are very uh, tedious. They're very time consuming, but we uh, made a commitment to you back in February uh, and we made a commitment to the public that we would continue to investigate this case. And that commitment is still very much ongoing. And I, I'm committed as well as my predecessor uh, is committed to making sure that whoever is involved in this um, theft of property and uh, theft by deception ring that is going on at Pritchard Water Board is going to be charged and their conduct will be discovered. Um, this is a huge undertaking and this is just, this conduct is deplorable and we want to do everything we can to help the citizens of Pritchard and that's what we're doing and we have done so for the past uh, um, nine months and we will continue to do so in the future. So it sounds like there's a possibility additional people might be charged going forward? This is very much an ongoing investigation. And I know I said that in February, but I think today shows you um, that, you know, my words were true in February, that this is very much an ongoing investigation. And it is a lengthy investigation. It involves multiple sources. And, um, you know, there there is a potential that there will be additional charges filed as we continue this investigation. This investigation is not over. And, and are you looking at board members for, for oversight um, glasses on this? You know as well as I do, Brendan, that it would be very improper for me to comment on any of those kinds of questions but this is very much an ongoing investigation. Do you guys have any a better idea about maybe how much or the scope of how much was stolen or misused? Oh, it's gonna be in the millions. Millions. Have you learned anything additionally about the Cottrell address home? Um, again, I'm not gonna comment on any specifics. Uh, we will, um, these cases now, since they have been uh, presented to a Mobile County Grand Jury, will be set in circuit court uh, for an arraignment and they will be set uh, for a jury trial. 
And so um, as that jury trial happens and, and pretrial motions and hearings come out, you'll be hearing more about the evidence. But at this time, it would be really improper for me to speak on that. Do you think any of the lost money can uh, can be attributed to some of the issues that the Pritchard Water Board is having now? They've just recently announced they might be cutting off water to 40 individuals in Alabama Village. Do I think the fact that these people embezzled that money is, is directly it, related to the fact that you know they're having such a financial hard time? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I and I feel my heart bleeds for the citizens of Pritchard and what they're going through right now. Um, but it is, in my opinion, a direct result of this criminal ring, which is for lack of a better term, this is a criminal enterprise that was going on at the Pritchard Water Board. Do you guys have, uh, are you guys confident that you might be able to recoup any of that money and, and maybe recover it for the system? We're gonna do our best. Um, as you know, that's a very complicated right. issue, issue as well. Uh, tracking down where the money is, where it went, what it went for, those kinds of things. We will try our best. Um, but the most important thing to, for me as the district attorney is to hold the people accountable that have stolen this money from the citizens of Pritchard. That is the most important thing, is making sure they are held accountable. Do you know if the items that you guys have already apprehended are going to end up in civil asset forfeiture cases? Oh, are those they being are, opened? There are, pen, there are, are already pending okay. civil asset forfeiture cases for the items that were taken in the search warrant that you all covered uh, back at Nia Bradley's house. Um, and there's very much ongoing, and that's a civil litigation, and that mm -hmm. is ongoing by my office um, in regards to forfeiture of those items. What I would really like to see, what I would really hope to see, um, is that eventually, uh, if we could get a court to forfeit those items, that those items will be sold and that that money will go back directly to the citizens of Pritchard that are, that are, that are hurting right now as a result of this injustice that has been going on at the Pritchard Board. Speaking of the citizens of Pritchard, uh, what is their reaction to this uh, latest turn of events? Uh, you know, I hope, I hope they understand that when I spoke in, in February, that my those were just veil words, that those were true words, that we are on top of this at the Mobile County District Attorney's <clears throat> Office, and that we are committed to seeing to it that the individuals that have caused these problems in Pritchard um, get, uh, you know, are held accountable for their actions and hopefully get some justice for the citizens of Pritchard. Have you seized items from, from some of these other individuals like you did from the Nia Browsing House? Uh, again, I, I, it's really not proper for me to comment. Now, how proper for you to say whether you, you know, searched and seized items? Uh, this is a multi-agency investigation that is going on. Uh, we are certainly cooperating with the FBI. We are cooperating with the ADI um, and the uh, uh, IRS, uh, as well as um, the state tax office. So again, it, I, I'm not going to comment on, on things that may or may not be. And, and just, so, just on the spot, real quick, I'm assuming that the, the charges against the employees and former employees are similar to Nia Bradley and that it, that it relates to the charges? Like it, the absolutely, card. they're they're all very, very similar. Um, it relates to the uh, credit cards that were given to the employees um, and uh, a basically um, spending spree that occurred by the employees. And then what about what about the uh, Anthony? Because he was not an employee, correct? Right. So can you explain but the nature of the charges? he was living reason? with um, Nia. He was certainly, uh, that's why receiving some property charges were filed in the beginning. Um, and then theft of property charges for taking uh, the property and converting it to his own use. Uh, and you said that um, Teresa Lewis was still working for the water board yes. um, when she was arrested. Do you think that there was continuation of theft going on while she was still employed there? Again, we are looking into everything uh, regarding each one of these individuals, and certainly Ms. Lewis, because she was still employed there as of yesterday. Do you think there, it's still happening there now? Again, I can't comment on that. That is part of our ongoing investigation. So has, has Ms. Lewis been terminated? Is that? That's something you'll have to oh, ask okay. them. Okay. Uh, she was arrested last night. Gotcha. So. Um, and originally investigators kind of Im implicated that uh, Ms. Lewis was intimidated into some kind of role. So I'm guessing that this is a kind of a turn away from that original belief? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Investigations unfold as we get more information, you know, theories and, and um, what we may believe happened uh, become clear. Have any of the people that have been arrested, are they cooperating with you? Um, no. Um, and and, are and they we don't have any, at this time, we don't have any intention of cooperating with anybody. 
Are they, are, is everyone in custody at this point? Uh, they have all been arrested. I, I don't know if they've made bonds or not yet this morning. Okay. It's been a crazy morning, I'm sorry, as you can tell. Yeah. But um, they were all given bonds by the grand jury. Um, and if they have not been able to make those bonds, then I'm certain their okay. lawyers will be down here trying to get them released bonds. I haven't seen Nia in the, the booking yet. Is she still been questioned? Well, or? she's not booking. Okay. She's not, she, she wasn't booked because we didn't file any additional charges Oh, okay, her. thank you. So she has a bond that she set for her original charges in district court. We did not include any additional charges gotcha. against Nia because once you charge someone um, with the uh, aggravated um, theft of property by deception, which is a class A felony, mm -hmm. the, the value is over 200,000. So it could be up to 2 million or uh, ad infinitum, I guess. Right. Um, so there was no need to file additional charges on her. Okay. That doesn't mean that we didn't find additional monies that she, um, uh, you know, embezzled. Mm -hmm. so. Thank and you. when you say millions, that this is the aggregate total or, or is that millions attributable to just her charges? No, I, I would say millions is the aggregate total. Is there any indication that Nia was purchased? Was she selling these items and any of the others that she had stored in her house? Uh, I think there was a uh, gifting certainly going on, but there was also purchasing of items and articles that were used um, to further her criminal enterprise. And that's really all I can say about that. Um, and then I guess, uh, so, so they'll all be brought in in the next few weeks, I guess, um, uh, for arraignments? Yes, they will have arraignments in circuit court once a, ju a judge is assigned in circuit court. Okay. Do you have any dates uh, set in stone? Nothing yet. Right. Nothing's been set. And, and Anthony's uh, lawyer uh, last night expressed some consternation for the fact that he wasn't contacted to arrange to have him turn himself in on any charges. We have no obligation to arrange to have anybody receive special treatment and get uh, you know, someone to be turned in. Earlier you said that um, the amount that was stolen was in the millions. Uh, is that a possibility to be much higher than that as time goes on? Uh, yes. Again, this is a very active, ongoing investigation. Okay. Anything is there, else? Uh, anything you can tell us about the Pritchard Police recruit that was arrested for rape this week? Uh, no, not at this time. Other than he was arrested, we have filed the chart. We have approved warrants out of our office. Um, our office will be actively and diligently um, seeking conviction in that case. Uh, it's a very traumatic and sad case. Okay. Y'all need okay. anything else? I think we're All good. right. Y'all got the night.